I don't subscribe to it. I don't subscribe to it. I don't believe canceling anyone because they want to vote for Trump, just like I don't believe in canceling anyone because they want to vote for Joe Biden. That is a person's choice. That is a person's preference. That is what someone simply chooses to do based on what they feel the candidate will offer them. What I do have a problem with is black people telling black people who they can vote for when 90% of the eligible black voters vote Democratic. Black voters have no credibility. We've been loyal to the Democrats for 70 years and what have they done for black people? Absolutely nothing. And we keep hoping they're gonna do something and they never do. 70 years means no. Matter of fact, 70 years means it's never going to happen. They're never gonna do anything, but they will do something for everybody else. You all keep leaving that part out. They're going to do something for everybody else. And like I said, that is the definition of racism. To get almost 100% of the votes and do nothing for the people that are voting for you. That is the definition of racism because they're specifically targeting black people. So I don't subscribe to the notion that a person can vote for who they want to vote for. I don't subscribe to that notion. A person can vote for who they choose to vote for. The Democrats have done nothing for black people and you all have the audacity to try and shame somebody because they don't want to vote Democratic. And it would be different if you all were saying, man, Trump is racist and Biden is racist, but y'all aren't saying that. It'd be different if you all were saying both candidates are equally bad, but y'all not saying that. It would be different if you all were saying the entire system is corrupt, but y'all ain't saying that. Y'all are saying we're gonna vote for the lesser of two evils. And then you all are gonna say, well, our ancestors died for us to vote. Our ancestors did not die for us to vote Democratic. That is ridiculous. Our ancestors died for us to have a choice. That's something totally different. You all are thinking the choice is one-sided for one party. The choice is the choice. But you all have the audacity to tell me we don't want to leave the system. We want to be free on the plantation. When I said let's boycott the system, you all said no. When I said let's withhold the vote, you all said no. So how are you going to ask somebody to help black people when black people don't want to leave the plantation? The slaves should have burnt them cotton fields up. The slaves should have burnt those tobacco fields up. The slaves should have burnt it to the ground. We wanted to be in the house. We wanted to be comfortable. We wanted master to treat us right. We didn't even want the slave on the horse telling us what to do to get off the horse. We wanted to feel good. We wanted to feel comfortable. And it's the same mentality today. Harriet Tubman got to go and free slaves with a 38. Why? Because she know many of you all would have said, I'm not going. And you would have ran back and told. It's like many of you all are doing today. You all are trying to pressure someone into voting Democratic. And the Democrats have never done anything for black people. Just imagine, I'm dating a young lady. And she only wants to see me when she wants to get something to eat. I got a decision to make. I got a decision to make. I got a decision to make about a woman who only wants to see me when it's time for me to spend my money. She only wants to see me when she feels like going out. And keep in mind, she got a guy that's smashing and he ain't spending nothing. She got a guy beating the brakes off of her and he ain't spending nothing. She got a guy tearing the suspension up and he ain't paying nothing. That's the Democrats. The Democrats do stuff for everybody else except black people. And y'all have the audacity to tell somebody they can't vote for Trump. Y'all have the audacity to tell somebody they can't vote for Trump. And you all are loyal to a party who is telling you we aren't going to do anything for you. You ought to be ashamed to tell somebody that. And it would be different if you all were saying the entire system is corrupt, but you all are not saying that. 
you all are saying, let's take nothing. Literally, you all are saying, let's take nothing and got the nerve to bring up your ancestors. Got the nerve to bring up what somebody died for y'all to be ashamed of y'all self. Joe Biden has been in politics for 53 years and what has he done? What has he done positive for black people? Absolutely nothing. He was the vice president with Barack Obama. What did he do though? What did he actually do? What did he do? Absolutely nothing. And you all have the audacity. 53 years means he ain't gonna do it. 53 years means he's not going to do it. I don't care if you all get upset. I don't care if you all get mad. You all cannot condemn someone for making the choice they choose to make. What you all want people to do is to be in bondage. No, black voters have no credibility. I'm not listening to no black Democratic voter. None. I'm not. You know why? Because a black Democratic voter goes into the voting booth knowing they're going to get nothing. At least the people voting for Trump think they're going to get something. These other people actually think they're going to get something. Even if they don't, they're still voting on the premise they're going to get something. But us, we actually vote to get nothing. It is the most insane concept and you all have the audacity to tell somebody who they can vote for. You, have the, you guys have the audacity to tell that man to keep dating that woman in hopes she does right by him. In hopes that she sees him for who he really is. Here goes the sad part. A lot of suckers, a lot of ducks, a lot of lames, a lot of beta males will keep dating that woman in hopes that she gives him something. Especially if she fine. This man will keep spending his money, keep spending his time in hopes this woman will give him something. And deep down inside, he knows she's not going to do it. Deep down inside, he knows. You know what he does? He just keeps spending more money. Takes her to more lavish places. That's what we do. We know we're not going to get anything. So we just turn the heat up. We just tell somebody, don't think, don't look at the policies, don't look at their careers, just look at the fact they're democratic. This white man told you, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black and y'all agree with it. This white man said, if you don't vote for him, you ain't black and y'all agree with it. This white man said, black people are not diverse like Hispanics. They don't have, we don't have diverse attitudes. This is what he said. And y'all agreed with it. Don't tell me who somebody can vote for. And guess what? I don't care who you vote for. Y'all just can't fix your mouth to speak on who should be voting for anybody. The black voter has no credibility. We talking about 70 years of loyalty and getting nothing in return. And got the nerve to critique somebody on something political. I just really believe most of you all just close your mouth. Most of you all should be quiet. I'm not listening to any black Democratic voters. I'm not listening to any white Republican voters. I listen to everybody else. I'm not listening to y'all too. I'm not listening to y'all too. I'm listening to everybody else. I'm listening to everybody else. I'm not listening to y'all too. I listen to everybody else, but not y'all too. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves trying to condemn somebody because they want to vote for somebody you don't want to vote for. It's ridiculous. This whole political game is a setup. They pick these presidents by bloodline. They pick these presidents based on a bloodline connected to a royal family. This whole thing is a setup and y'all trying to condemn somebody. And y'all not about to get nothing in return, nothing. The Democrats literally tell you we are going to do something for everybody else, but we want you to support us in doing it. And we do it. You don't have the right to tell somebody who they should be able to vote for. You don't. None of you all have the right to condemn somebody for voting for anybody. Black Democrats are the worst voters on the planet. We vote knowing we aren't going to get anything. We don't even have enough character to say we're going to withhold the vote until we get something. We don't even have enough character to say we are going to withhold the vote until we get something. If the LGBTQ P, don't forget X, Y, and Z community, was not getting something from these Democrats, the Democrats would not have their support. If the immigrants were not getting something from these Democrats, they wouldn't have their support. 
If these Jews weren't getting some from these Democrats, they would not have their support. We are the only group that does it. We are the worst voters on the planet. So the black Democratic voter does not have a leg to stand on and cannot. And I will not allow you to condemn anybody for not voting for Joe Biden. I won't. I will not let you condemn someone for wanting to vote for Trump. Joe Biden been in politics for 53 years and Trump been in politics for four. There's no comparison. We are not going to condemn somebody for their political choice because people died for us to have a choice when it came to vote, not vote for a party that's given us nothing. And I'm not saying that Trump is a solution. And I'm not saying that Biden isn't the solution. I'm telling you all, we have been loyal to a party that has done nothing for us and we are complicit in our own demise. We are complicit. We don't have a right to say who somebody can vote for. You don't have a right to say it. When folks say, let's boycott the system and you all say, no, you don't have a right at that point. Once you say, we're going to remain in this system, you don't have a right to critique anything. Once you say we're going to stay in this system, we're going to stay on this plantation, you don't have a right to say anything. Don't open your mouth. Go to the polls with that mask on your face. Don't say nothing. But I will not let you all continue to condemn people who don't want to vote for these Democrats. I will not do it. I will not let y'all do it. I don't care who somebody votes for. It's their choice. But you're not going to condemn somebody for voting for Trump like Biden is better than Trump. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And it'd be different if y'all said they both racist, but y'all don't say that. Y'all don't say that. Y'all say Trump racist, like, by name. No. Mm -mm. Black Democratic voters don't have a leg to stand on. I don't want to hear. We are complicit in our own demise.